All right, people, welcome back. More Death Pro Doll commentary. So we're joined by Lunar. Yo. And uh, we got Clitoride. Clitoride? Playing yeah, them, uh, them Cosmos versus Fill the Flow. Mm, not Fill the Flow because he's playing a freaking <laughs> wrong, wrong character. Anime. Yeah, wrong, <laughs> yeah, wrong character. <laughs> Uh, so we saw that in Mulligan and Cosmo Town. I'm wondering if he's playing Demise or one variant. As you guys know, I really love me Cleese. <laughs> and Cleese. Cleese, not Cleese. Well, I used to love Cleese. No, Cosmos. Cosmos are probably my, one of my favorite acts. So, despite never seeing a single Star Wars movie. <laughs> huh. And I saw Wizard of Oz. You've got to fix that. No, I don't want my Star Wars. <laughs> oh, no. it's like mediocre. It's like mediocre. <laughs> it's one of like the most mediocre thing you've ever seen in your life, and everybody hypes it up beyond compare. <laughs> yeah, there's like two good movies in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering if he's running the demise variant because that's a lot of set cards, and he shuffled all his monsters back. So expect it. Yeah. I went with the demise variant for this past uh, Utah regionals, and it was. Interesting, <laughs> to say the least. So I'll be giving my tournament report starting on tomorrow, Wednesday's Daily Duels and Friday's Daily Duels, two parts. But don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Just know that when Daniel's luck is ass, it's some ass, dog. <laughs> okay, so I need the Mirage. Though Mirage is out in the TCG, but not the Phantom yet. Smarter than Phantom, I mean, with uh, with Sky Iris, the nice pendulum skills. The accessibility in Phantom is pretty strong, too. Pendulum, I'm gonna. Nope. Don't play... know what they do. Play Sorcerer. Summon Sorcerer. Sorcerer didn't get hit down to one, because, of course, he's uh, Dante in disguise, so he can't be limited. Hmm. He cannot limit Dante. He does look a bit like Dante. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna gain that extra thousand. Oh, you're gonna get rid of your own pendulum skills. I mean, Cosmo guy, like, you mulligans and. Do you have anything? <laughs> like, I'm actually kind of wondering if you got, like, a strike, drowning, what? Yep, alright, so. He gets that sorcerer off, and because he got that sorcerer off, he gets a pot of greed. Isn't that fair? Yeah. <laughs> like this shit's actually still pretty good. Like despite monkey board being banned, you can just still throw the fucking engine in. I mean, it is a pot of greed. So it is. Oh, yep. Magic they are going up in popularity too. Yeah. My friend was playing Magic Specters, Magic Specter demise. <laughs> Yep. Did they hit the unicorn or not? I don't remember. Yeah, they hit it to one. Nice, thank they, god. Yeah, but they really don't need unicorn to make plays. Yeah, but unicorn was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> just compulse everything. Mm -hmm. But now they just play the triple bunkaboo. And then the one unicorn. Because <laughs> they really want it. Like, pendulums are literally just turning into a clusterfuck of everything that's decent. <laughs> Look, you see it like they'll throw. I think Metaphos throw in Scout and Monolith so they can play Scout, search for Monolith, top the Scout with the Metaphos shit, and then pend up some of those two to make Infinity. I've seen huh. them go into Ultimaya, I've seen them go into Crystal Mesh, Apex Avion, freaking. Dude, I'm dumb with this game. <laughs> yeah, like the, like the Pendulum mechanic is so busted because it can just summon so many fucking broken things, it's not even fun. Like, I shit you not, I've literally seen a fucking Pendulum based deck that scales 1 through 8 Pendulum summon. Apex Avion, Keenan, fucking uh, Cosmo Dark Lady, because they fucking can, and <laughs> um, that one Morphage guy. Oh, it is Demise Cosmo. All right, all right. <laughs> he better not lose, cause I mean a little bit, of, a little bit of a spoiler alert to my uh, talking about uh, my turn result. I beat the, I I was using Cosmo Demise, and I beat Magic Specter, so you better not lose. <laughs> Even though you're about to get hit with that swiftest fucking tempest, like, like you got twin twisters. I, I don't even think this. I don't think the might even uh, main deck twin twisters though. Yep. So because you have low hand count, you get therefore you get to get a hell of a greed. Yep. Oh well, opened up the dank daddy. 
I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm personally more involved into this this duel. Yep, there's a tempest. Get wrecked. I mean, I'm just watching the pretty colors. Yeah, that's pretty much all you do because <laughs> you don't play <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, so many things that Konami should have hit but didn't. <laughs> like really, like you left card when I stopped three. playing. Pretty much was PK Fire. Oh, what are you talking about? PK Fire still exists. Does it? Okay, well. Yeah. I mean, they didn't hit Dante. All they did was oh, hit. Yeah, all they, yeah. Still exists. Yeah, they hit Sir down to one and Beatrice down to one, but you still got the triple Dante, so. It's such a vicious cycle. Why do they even bother? Like, I know they have to have the power creep to sell cards, but, like. Ugh. <laughs> like, the banish just gets bigger and bigger. Yep. It's like, well, why are you even releasing these cards when you know they're just going to be banned? And the answer is obviously money, but... Uh-oh. Is that Dank Daddy? Ah, my favorite. <laughs> Both effects? Yep. Maybe go into a Slip Rider or a Forerunner? He, I don't know. I don't know if there's like some strong strike set back there, and maybe there's a Cosmojo. Like he still might be able to pull this this out. He might still be able to get him. Cause of course he can overstand. I mean, look at all them fucking shits in his extra deck though. Like look at that extra deck for the Pendulum guy. Like holy shit, Pendulum mechanic is so Jesus. fucking fair. <laughs> One freaking eight cards, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna set up the nice generic pendulum scales, pendulum summon a shit ton and go off. Yeah. At least he doesn't have a monkey board. Alright. Alright, unicorn and... Oh he's actually you look, it's he's anime guy. <laughs> it's like Phoenix. Gundam That's summon? what he uses when he summons I can't remember. Uh Nirvana High Paladin, right? Yeah. Use... Yeah. 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 Pendulum, 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 pendulum. Like, Dude, I haven't, ex I haven't watched the Yu-Gi-Oh anime since then. I don't think. Really? Just those two? <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, you're gonna catch this strike boy. Like this is fucking Cosmo demise, motherfucker. Like, nah. <laughs> and he can grab that dang daddy back. He's a Cosmo monster. Ten cans in the graveyard, so. Maybe have like a revival for that. Outside of that, he might be taking a little bit too slow because he still got some monsters in the extra deck. Like, alright, grab back the dark daddy. I've been calling him daddy all fucking weekend. <laughs> <laughs> wow, his life points are getting low though. Like, I wonder. Like, I wonder what, how much he's playing. Like, I'm, I'm assuming triple strike, the warnings, all that good shit. But I'm like, how much are you committed to? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, speak fucking, of the talk. Fucking, of the fucking, this man runs the fucking Cardamize and the Pot of Desires. Like, he don't give a fuck. I, I, I can't do Pot of Desires. I cannot do that card. <laughs> I mean, he already got his one Dark Destroyer, so I guess he'll be fine. <laughs> Did you draw into, like, maybe Farm Girl? Farm Girl can uh, get some damage in? Wow. Wow, where are you Dude, going with this? That's a small deck. Uh -huh, where are you going with this? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Maybe you join the more back row, I don't know. I don't know. But god damn, do you have enough fucking draw? How do you run a fucking card of mine and fucking pot of uh, fucking pot of desires? That's expensive. <laughs> fucking both? I think I think card of mine is like twenty bucks each and then freaking pot of desires is like eighty bucks, so <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. This game. Yep. I think my whole fluffle date was about 80. 80 <laughs> wow, just keep playing life points. I mean, he still has enough life points just to do one more strike. One more. Come on, Cosmos. I'm so biased. <laughs> <laughs> I'll root for the other team to make it equal. Come on, <laughs> Yuma. <laughs> Broke as Yeah, I'll feel the flow with your minimum deck. <laughs> He's way ahead of his time. Forerunner, Farm Girl, all would do that. Wow, I can't even see what he added with the tin can. Alright. 
I mean, I know he has Dark Destroyer in hand, so a nice spot pop, but... There's all the monsters in the freaking extra deck. You sent that farm girl. I'm gonna have my farm girl's room. I might save, I might save the replay just to look at this man's deck. <laughs> Wait, can you save the replay in uh, when you're spectating? I have no idea. I'm not sure. I kind of want to see this guy's deck. Oh, man. Yep. Can you, like, hop out of the way, or can you do something to get your monsters off the fucking field? So, if he chains, you you tribute for, you banish for cost. Does that mean that he'll drop down the <laughs> one monster, or is that at resolution? I think it's, I think it's at resolution. Bless you. Thank you. I'm kind of wondering that, because he's going to be in some deep shit. I'm kind of wondering if he could, like, activate Tin Can for cost. Banish, and then he would have to fuse from his hand, or else it would fizzle. Or he's just not going to do it. Like, okay. You got another strike? I wonder if he's main decking the Chaos Trap Holes or something. Ooh. I think that might be game. <laughs> I don't know. You kind of let him get that. Yep. Of course, he had another Odd Eyes Unicorn. Naturally. It's literally just infinite resource. Oh, and now you hop out of the way? Like, negate? Like, okay. Like, you're not going anywhere. Okay, call the haunted. Summon what, Forerunner? Yeah. Oh, at least you can't get around Forerunner for now. I'm getting them life points might help a little bit. <laughs> there was times at, at the regionals where I really wanted Forerunner to heal me. I'm really wondering how many, like, perform pot on ice unicorns and, like, phoenixes he's running. Okay, what are we waiting on? Yeah, well, oh, wow, you can just catch this fucking Damn. MST, boy. Damn. Damn, man. Damn, yeah. man. Yeah, just scoop. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and head the game too after this side. We are back. Alright, well, that was lame. The fucking Cosmo Demise guy just quit, like... He was like, I'm out of here. Yeah, he disgraced my dad. Like, I'm mad. I'm mad. I have dishonor myself. Okay. Wow. It's a good game. Good game, good game. I'm saving that replay. I mean, his his mills were pretty good. He freaking sent uh, that Sir and that Skarm, so... He just summoned that Skarm back. But then Skarm had to be in the graveyard to resolve his effect, so it wouldn't even be in the graveyard anymore for the NFA search, but... Wow, he just scooped it up real quick. Alright, bear back again. Alright, so, people are just quitting today, like, I, I don't know, I don't know. He scooped it up real quick, and the other guy just quit, like, it's disappointing. It's disappointing, you're unrated, you have a rating, you, have, you Wait, don't have who, anything online? Who are we looking, who are we watching? The same people, man. Oh, the same dude? Oh. Yeah, I have Steven Stalker, you're going to game two. Alright. Oh my god. What drugs are you on? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were still watching them, it's such a... I figured it was over. I mean, there's not much happening right now. <laughs> That's a lot of set cards. Mm hmm. The Farfa summon something and go into Dante. Dante, 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 Dante. I am getting real sick and tired of seeing that ugly ass motherfucker. Oh, never mind. You Unless if that card sitting on the field, you ain't going to Dante anymore. I tell you what. <laughs> I guess he was like, yeah, I'll scoop game one just so I can get to my side deck. Because <laughs> that's a fiend, plus a fiend equals a warrior. I mean, it's fine for stopping like Burning Biz, but PK Fire, I mean, they really don't give a shit. They're like, alright, summon a warrior, summon a warrior, go to break sides, that's a warrior, pop the fucking rivalry. Like... <laughs> Fucking burning this guy, look like he didn't open up a two like, Oh, it's blue eyes? Wow. So he summons Dante and does it. You must open up ass. Like, that's the only explanation. Because he freaking went Dante in the middle a couple bit and you just scooped it right out. So. I don't know. I don't I don't think Reverie is that great this Oh far. my goodness. It keeps saying Yu Gi Oh! Pro has stopped working and then kicking me out of the freaking game. What, Dev Pro? Yeah. Of course. Fucking Dead Pro. So trash. Yep. Yeah. You get Pro.exe and stop working. Catch that sound strike on the Blood's ultimate. I mean, ultimate Blood. The uh, alternative. You Don't done? I'm not really yeah. adding much anyway. I'll pretend I'm still watching it. Alright. 
<laughs> oh my god, he just summoned a Karibo. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, summon to our guide and far from banish the set monster to a guide. Wing Karibo level 10. What is he gonna go for into? For game? Nah, he's just gonna kick in. Wow. Wow, so. Chain Link 1 Farfuck, his Grave Rider effects was off first. Chain Link 2 Tour Guide and catch that warning. He's actually some people that actually think that they can actually like decide to chain link stuff, monsters like that. There's actually a guy at the freaking uh, regionals, like he was like, he was playing water and he like pitched and he was like, he's like, Chain Link uh, 1, my Megalo, Chain Link 2, my monsters in Graveyard, like for pitch. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Like, no. Graveyard effects always resolve first. That's why Megalo is always at the end of the chain. But, hey. <laughs> wow, and these guys are literally just one up in each other. Like, it's like, one one guy does something, gets stopped by the opponent, ends his turn. The other guy does something, gets stopped, ends his turn, like... And I see a Fog Blade, so it's clearly PK Fire. So, pretty much the two best decks of the format facing each other. You know, if you're gonna play for Rated, you might as well go for Gold. Wow, and this his duels are slowing down to a screeching halt. Like that's what Flood Gates do to you. <laughs> are you finally back in, or you just gave up? <laughs> uh, it won't let me. Keep saying it's not responding. That's that pro for you. Uh. Wow, and then hit a, then hit this man with a shadow imprisoning. Like, how much does he fucking have hatred for freaking BA? <laughs> I guess it is the second best deck, so I was like, yeah, that's what I'll be facing. Rivalry and Shadow Imprisoning. All he needs to do is just bust out some good Blue Eyes plays and he'll be fine. Shadow Imprisoning, too good. <laughs> so now I was thinking that maybe he could get out of that rivalry, but now he can't even do that because Shadow Imprisoning he can't even break swords. <laughs> You can't do shit. This duel is literally boring. Because nothing is happening. You're not missing much. I mean, you're not <laughs> missing much. Nice. <laughs> Just keep trying. You'll get it eventually. Wow, that moment when he tributes two monsters to set. He, tri he, he tributed his enraged battle locks and five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. That was so stupid. <laughs> uh, it keeps just kicking me out. Wow. But you... on the other hand, these Ultra Beasts are pretty cool. Freaking Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> they're totally based off the uh, people, but they? Yeah, they pretty are. They pretty much are. Yeah, I what? don't know who the big red guy is. Your the... freaking rival with the fucking uh, Type Null. Same color scheme, oh. his outfit. Oh, yeah. Just not that bulky normally. Yeah, and so I guess he just <laughs> fucking that, roids that, up. That beauty one is definitely the like leader of the good clan, whatever mm -hmm. it is. And the jellyfish one is definitely Lily. So not since we know Rock Cross Feature and they said the starters have it, like I said, I wanna see all the starter final yeah. versions before yeah. I decide. They can have a different one for day and night or something. Mm hmm Cause right now. Because right like, now, those final evolutions suck ass. <laughs> so right now, I'd probably have to go with Rowlet. I don't really yeah, like the Rowlet like, type, but I'm As much as I love ass. Lit, and that final evolution is shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I'm freaking fire fighting again. Don't do this. Maybe it's fire dark. I know, but still, it looks like it's fire fighting, and I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm done yeah. with these wrestlers. For, for, for a fucking guy playing Burning Abyss, that's PK Fire, and it likes to mid a lot. He opened up with Strike and Warning and a Fog Blade, like, and opened up the back row for this fucking Blue Eyes guy. He flipped some of that Blue Eyes and got healed that solid morning. Freaking guy, he, 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 he's, he had a, uh, he had rugged gloves. He special summons uh, boots. Guy throws down the next C and then he just ends his turn. He's like, nah, you <laughs> take the neck on that. <laughs> This blue eyes guy, like he he cited so much hate, and wow, I can't believe he actually tributes him for the blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> like it seems like he cited in so much hate that he's not doing anything. Like yeah, you got the rivalry, yeah, you got the fucking shadow in prison. Cool story, bro. Oh never mind, he topped like in the fucking broadcast gospel. 
Never mind. Alright, well, this duel looks like he's probably gonna swing in the other direction now. You can't fog blade Goliath, can you? Can you? Oh, but you can fog blade your own monster so Goliath can't attack you. Wow, so you opened up double fog blade with a warning and a strike. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I like how Rockruff's evolution has a edge lord form. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's looking... still pure rock. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they said the typing, did they? No, I don't think they did. I reckon he's pure rock, and then in the other form, he's rock dark. That would be mm. my guess. Maybe like rock normal, rock dark, or rock fairy, or rock dark. I don't know. Maybe rock dark. I haven't even seen that typing in a cool minute. Hmm. What rock darks are there? Titar. Oh yeah. Wow, and the number generator is just so strong in this duel. Like they're just going back and forth. They both got warning. They both got regeki. Like, of course he had the gospel, so your regeki does nothing. So. This duel is literally just sitting here at a standstill. There's nothing either one of them can do. I mean, if he gets like another, if he gets an alternative, he can reveal special summon, go into uh, go into like full armor and pop that fog blade. Even then, he would still have two fog blades in the graveyard. So that then itself is some rival right there. Uh, I kind of hope the PK Fire guy wins, just so this doesn't go to game three. <laughs> <laughs> so I could just end this video, because this is dumb. <laughs> I can't even watch it. Because <laughs> Depro's a piece of shit. Like, I can't wait to end this series. I cannot wait. This series sucks, but it's a job. It puts food on the table. <laughs> and by it puts food on the table, I mean, no, it doesn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You are not missing anything with this tool. <laughs> it's really like draw pass, draw pass, draw pass, draw pass. Dude, this Ultra Beast O2 expansion is totally going to be on my theme. If it's a Pokemon. Yeah, that's a good point. If you're allowed them. Yeah, they only look like Pokemon because they haven't even told us their typings if they are yeah. Pokemon. For all we know, they're just fucking alien transformations or something. Fucking, yeah. they're like, well, it's based on Hawaii, so why can't we have, like, fucking alien creatures like fucking Lilo and Stitch and shit? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope they're Pokemon. I guess I'm hoping that's what they're showing it probably. I'm like, like, it seems like that final evolution of the that's probably not the... Layton, that seems like it's night, but the fucking Pablo, that seems like it's day, so. Yes. Well, then again, it's a siren, and they're meant to come out at night, right? I don't know. If I remember to... correctly. <laughs> they sing at night when the waves are freaking crazy. Oh, okay. If you say so. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I could be making that up. <coughs> I don't know, but I gotta see all of it. Cause now, since you revealed Rock Rock Secret, now just show us the. Final evolution. You haven't even showed us like the second stage. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Not that we really care, because the second stage. When they leaked awkward. as well, but they weren't official leaks. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he activates rugged gloves, banishes cost, but shadow imprisoning. But then you're like, oh, I'm negated with spirit. Like, what? Like, it, it was gonna get negated. Like, it's negated. He can, he can banish all his fucking Phantom Knights he wants. Like, he's not getting shit. You banish for cost, so you're, you're just getting fucked. Yeah, scoop it up, Steven Stalker. And we're going to game three. Yay! <laughs> Fuck me. Joy. We're back. Dude, it looks... Alright, we're back. Luna's still not watching. <laughs> I'll try again now. It's the next round. Let's all see. Right. Not a curse. <laughs> uh, Jewel Star... Oh, 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 I'm watching. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so of course, just the classic, make a first turn Dante, send the Skarm, Skarm gets served, like, 
You have to. You, you should have hit Dante down to one, Konami. You should have hit Dante down to one. But if you're not gonna hit Dante down to one, you should have hit fucking Terra Cop or at least Skarm. Like, like it's the fact that they can just bust out Skarm, mill it, search it, plus fucking Terra Cop special summon multiple Dantes, plus like that's probably gonna be what you're gonna do next time if you want to leave Dante at three. It seems like you never want to put Dante down to one. You're gonna have to have every single burn, good burning abyss at one, limited to one before you can fucking hit Dante. Huh. Whoa, what's this? You can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go. What, from Pokemon Sun and Moon? Apparently. Well, that's what this little picture says, I think. Hey, oh. like, what the fuck? Like, who cares? Man? <laughs> oh, yeah, I want some fucking Gen 1 shit. Yeah, no, no, so you can get your Alolan forms of them. Oh, okay, I guess. Because only Gen 1 Pokemon are getting Alolan forms. Yeah, sure seems like it. Oh, yeah. that's that's clever. Yeah, 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 you're gonna be able to transfer from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Sun. I mean. Okay, I see you. I see you. All right. So send Blue Eyes and revive it with the Gospel. Set some back row. Go out to the Beatrice so he can just go ahead and far for you, and then detach the Dante, and the Dante can grab back the Scarm. Like it's all good. <laughs> There's no way in hell he's gonna like, let you kill that Beatrice right now. You're probably gonna get Farfetch. Did you ever use Farfetch or is that someone else? That was, I think that was Libic or Calcap. Wow, you're not even gonna go after the Beatrice. Alright. <laughs> Didn't want none of that. Okay. If you want to stone someone another blue eyes, that's nice, I guess. In the end phase, Beatrice anyway. Mm. But send Sir. And Sir will summon back Dante. You can never have enough floatiness in BA. Oh no. Sent uh, Whoa, I haven't seen that guy in a while. Cow cab. So Dante will probably grab back Skarn. Yeah. Cow cab bounces a set card, so just blind blind bounce a set. <laughs> Hope that you hit that shadow imprisoning. It's not a very good card. No, no, like I said, some of the, some of the Burning Abyss... Doesn't are even like destroy that. it. Yeah, it doesn't even destroy it. Like, I'd probably say, like, of course the OG3 are the best, and then Farfa's good. Lipic's pretty decent. Summoning a monster from your hands, if I can get it. Freaking Olich is just a weird breakthrough skill, so that's kind of eh. Like, a nice chunk of them are just kind of meh. Dragon dude's alright. I don't even think anybody plays him. I don't know why, he's better than this shit, bouncing a sec card. <laughs> Rivalry again, so you can only summon Wish she a fairy? That's just fairy. Only fairies um, for you, too bad you can't summon like, Yeah, I don't think you have any of those, really. Nope. They uh, crash it intentionally. And then summon Pilgrim Dante, you should be free from the rivalry, so... You can, uh, what type is he? Is he a warrior? I think he's a warrior. And you can get Pretty access sure he's to all, a warrior. Get access to all of them PK fireplace. Oh my god, this you duel. Fire. I know, right? It takes him so long. Alright, so Beatrice is dead. I don't even know why you turned her to attack mode. Like, just so you could take 500 points of damage? Like, I guess. Is he a warrior? No, he's also a fairy. What the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess look at his hand gesture. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fabulous. <laughs> okay. Did you only attack with one of your blue eyes? So you're just gonna leave that fucking Dante there for him to do shenanigans with. Alright. Alright. All right. Well, he can only still have fairies. It's not like he can summon Beatrice back. She's not a burning abyss. Do you reckon Type Null is gonna be a legendary? I don't think it's gonna be a legendary, but I think it's gonna be interesting with what they do with it. Yeah. It says it's gonna ha it has a special ability that's gonna be revealed next issue. Mm -hmm. So, 
Pilgrim Doctor is dead, you get to go and pick something out of his hand, pick out a dragon shrine. That's I mean, if I would have guessed, it's probably not going to be it, but from the name, <coughs> I would me. guess that it nullifies the opponent's type. Interesting. I'm thinking, especially with the thing around his neck, that he's going to do something similar to Arceus. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, like plates changing type. Mm -hmm. That that would make sense. It's called type no. Oh yeah, I think you've cracked it. <laughs> <laughs> I like Team Skull. Yeah, I reckon they're gonna be the good guys, and uh, the it's, it's gonna be the, the, the bad light guy. team are gonna be the bad guys yeah. because uh, like uh, what they did in Mystery Dungeon, mm -hmm. where. Dusknor was the bad guy and Grovar was the good guy, but they led you to think it the other way around for the whole game. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Fogblade, summon back your cloak, there's your gloves, and then bam, there's the break sword, so. <laughs> Doesn't break sword only float if this card, if this XC summon card is destroyed? So if you strike a warning that, then he doesn't get shit, right? If not, then here comes break sword. Oh yeah, uh, I reckon you have, you have tons of different forms. Guess that shadowing again, oh, yeah. rivalry right. shadowing prison. GG. <laughs> GG man, like I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do. <laughs> like, do you have Redeki? I I don't think you have played gospel in this duel. Oh, never mind, you did. It's like the end of the grave where you play that first turn. I, I don't know what you <laughs> can do. Yeah, that's it. All right, we're done here. <laughs> hmm. So there we go. Blue eyes beat PK fire, which we were totally expecting meta wise. And I wanted to see more of that uh, Demise Cosmo, but he just didn't do games 2 or 3. And or 3. Anyway, we're done here. So thank you, Luna, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another episode of this fucking series that I hate, but we're doing it. <laughs> Alright, people. Thanks for watching.